Hello friends, welcome to Sidza.com. Now in this video we will learn about the IUPC nomenclature of the bicyclo compounds and spiro compounds. You see here a bicyclic compound and we find in in this molecule there are the, these are the two carbon atoms which are common to the two rings here and these carbon atoms are called as bridgehead carbons, right? This is a bridgehead carbon And this one is another bridgehead carbon, right? Another bridgehead carbon. The two bridgehead carbon atoms are joined by here a one carbon atom and this one another two carbon atoms. So this is called here a one carbon bridge This is a one carbon bridge and these two carbon atoms, you know, they also join the bridge heads. The bridge heads are joined together by these two carbon atoms. So this will be called as a two carbon, two carbon bridge. From this side again, they are joined together. The bridge heads are joined together through, you know, this bond, right? these bonds and you find the two carbons so this is another two carbon bridge right so in this molecule we find the two bridge heads are joined together by three bridges and one contains the two you know one contains one carbon and this one contains two carbon and this one contains again two carbons so when we name the IUPC you know when we when we name the bicyclo compounds we actually first write down the term bicyclo right this is the bicyclo two cyclic rings so bicyclo and then the bracket and in the bracket we mention the number of carbon atoms in each bridge and the number of carbon atoms we write down in the descending order that means the first with the more number of carbon atoms right the bridge that contains more number of carbon atoms so here this bridge contains two carbons so i'll write on the two then full stop and then this bridge again contains two carbons then a full stop and then here this car this bridge it contains one carbon and then one so two two one that means there are three bridges and two carbons here in this one one carbon here and two carbons here so two two one so this is you know these are the three bridges bicyclo two two one and the total number of carbon atoms here you know suppose number one two three four five six and the seven Total number of carbon atoms in this molecule are seven, so it will be the haptane, right? So the name is bicyclo two two one haptane. Bicyclo two two one two two one represents the number of carbon atoms in each bridge, and the common name for this molecule is was that it is the norbornene, right? But there is a no, you know common name for this molecule norbornene. Now let's take some other examples. Here in this molecule, in this bicyclo compound, these are the two bridge heads, right? These are the two bridge heads. These are the two carbon atoms which are common to the two rings. So the, these are two bridge heads and uh, the two bridge heads are actually joined by three bridges here. You know, this is the one bridge and here in this bridge we got how many carbon atoms? Four. One, two, three, and four in this bridge there's no carbon atom and here in this bridge there are two carbon atoms so when when we name it we write down we can write down bicyclo and in the bracket in this bridge there are four carbon atoms and then here in this bridge there are two in the third bridge there is no carbon so it is four two zero. The total number of carbon atoms are here one two three four five six seven eight. So it is octane. Bicyclo four two zero octane. Now in this cyclic bicyclo compound, these are the two bridge heads, and these two bridge heads are joined 
by three bridges. You know, this is the one bridge, this is the second bridge, this is the third bridge. And here, the maximum number of carbon atoms are in this bridge. It contains three carbon atoms. This bridge contains three carbon atoms. This bridge, it doesn't have any carbon. Here, this bridge contains one carbon. So the name will be bicyclo. It is the bicyclo three. And here it's one carbon. In this one, it's one carbon. Here it doesn't have any carbon. Three one zero. The total number of carbon atoms here are six, so it is octane. Bicyclo three one zero octane. Now in these two molecules here, in this molecule, these are the two bridge heads, right? And here the two bridge heads are joined by three bridges here, one, two, and three. Here in this one it contains two carbons, so it will be the bicyclo bicyclo two. And then here it contains one carbon, right? Two, one, and then this bridge does not have any carbon. Because we always write down the number of carbon atoms in the descending order. So it has zero carbon, it has one carbon, it has two carbons. So first we write down the two, then one, then zero, two, one, zero. And the total number of carbon atoms in this molecule of five, so it will be the oh, it will be the pentane, right? Bicyclo two one zero pentane. Here in this molecule, these are the two bridge heads, and the name will be bicyclo three carbons here, two here, and zero here. So bicyclo three two zero. The total number of carbon in the seven, so it is heptane. Here in these two examples, if you look at this molecule, these are the two bridge heads, and the two bridge heads are joined by three bridges, right? So when we name it, it will be bicyclo, and then these are the two carbon atoms, right? This is actually a two carbon bridge. So this is a bridge head. And this is the bridge head. Right? And the two bridge heads are joined by three bridges, one, two, and three. In this one, it contains two carbons. In this one, it contains one. And this one also contains one. So two, one, one. The total number of carbon atoms in this one, in the molecule are six, so it is hexane, right? Bicyclo 211 hexane. Here are these two carbons are the bridge heads, and they are joined by the four carbons here, zero carbons here, and this is a one carbon bridge. So four carbon bridge one carbon bridge and zero carbon so the name will be bicyclo four one zero the total number of carbon atoms are seven right so there are seven so it is the heptane this molecule these are the two bridge heads in this molecule, these are the two bridge heads, and the two bridge heads are joined by three bridges. This is a two carbon bridge, zero carbon bridge, and again a two carbon bridge. So the name will be bicyclo two, then again two, and the zero. Bicyclo two two zero. Six number of carbon atoms total one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is hexane. If two cyclic rings are joined together by one carbon atom, the compound is called as a spiral compound. 
So this is a spiral compound because the two rings here, the six member ring and the three member ring, these are joined together by a one common atom, the carbon. And this particular carbon is called a spiral carbon. So the molecule is a spiral compound. Here these two rings are joined together by one carbon atom. So this carbon is common to the two rings. So this is again a spiral compound. And when we name these compounds, we use the term spiral as a prefix, right? When we name it, we first uh, write, you know, start the numbering from the smaller cyclic ring. So here we have a three-membered carbon, and this is a six-membered carbon. Therefore, the the numbering we start from the smaller one. That is here we give the number one. This is the number two. This will be the number three. 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Here in this molecule, when we name it, we write down the first the term spiral, and then, then the bracket, in the bracket we will write down the number of atoms other than this particular spiral carbon, right? Other than this particular you know common carbon in the two rings. In the descend in the uh, you know ascending order means we will first write down the smaller chain and then the smaller ring first and then the larger ring here in this ring there are two carbon atoms so it will be the two and then in this ring there are one two three four five other than this right there are five carbon atoms so it is two dot five the total number of carbon atoms here are 7 in this molecule. The total number of carbon atoms in this molecule are 8, so it is the octave. So the name for this small spiral compound will be spiral 2.5 octane. Now what about this molecule? Again we find two different rings here. This is the spiral carbon. And we start the numbering from the you know smaller uh, cy cyclic ring. So number one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. When we name it, we use the term spiral first. So it will be the spiral. Then there are three carbon atoms other than this. One, two, three. So it is three dot. There are four carbon atoms. Three dot four. The total number of carbon atoms are 8, so it is octane. Spiral 3.4 octane. Here, are, here is another molecule. This is the spiral ca carbon. And we'll start the numbering in the smaller chain here. So let's say this is the number 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So it will be the spiral. Then there are 4 carbon atoms. 1, 2, 3, 4. Dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The total number of carbon atoms are 10, so it is decane. Here is another molecule, and this is the spiral carbon, and the numbering from the smaller to cyclic ring, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So the name will be spiral then 3, dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, dot 5, 9 carbon atoms, so it is non -aine. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.